Today, JHS pedals release the latest in the three series of pedals. They're $99 three knob pedals. This one called the Screamer. Now you might be thinking, do we really need another Tube Screamer clone? I think you might be surprised. Hello friends and welcome back. It is new pedal day here at Moore Guitars. Uh, today is the day that JHS has released the newest in their three series, the Screamer. And we're going to take a quick listen to it, try to answer that question, do we really need another Tube Screamer clone? Even though it is at a $99 price point. Let's check it out and see. I have a Player Series Stratocaster here that I'm running through our Mesa Fillmore 50 that we generally always use for these demos. That is the clean sound we're going to be starting with. I like first of all seeing how closely I can get it to sound to the original guitar signal. Some of the things that are inherent in every Tube Screamer circuit is it's going to tighten up the bass response. Hopefully you can hear that. The super lows are being suppressed a little bit and you're getting this nice mid-range bump. Now some people try to use these screamers as a clean boost because of what they're doing in that mid-range frequency. It's never going to be as transparent as you would like it to be. But this does a really good job of pushing that mid-range up, getting a little bit of natural breakup out of your amp, and tightening up the bass, which could get a little bit tubby. So I'm going to keep it. I've got the drive all the way off on here. I'm going to crank the volume up. Keep that tone about where it was because that's pretty much neutral. So you can get a good clean three decibel boost out of this, but I know what we all want to hear is what's it going to do when we start beefing up the tone with the drive control. Okay, as we turn the drive up, it's going to get loud really fast because that's kicking the op amp in. That's where all of the gain and volume from this thing is coming from. Okay. Now, as we get up there, I'm going to sweep the tone up. Oh, you see how it cleaned up that kind of ugliness on the bottom? I'm going to crank it up a little bit more, see if I hear any more of what I was feeling here. I'm going to go back to the neck pickup on here. Responds pretty well to rolling the volume control off. I'm going to back off the drive just a little bit here. Okay, 
go up to the bridge position on here and tone might be a little bit too much. Not really, back it down just. up pretty well there. Um, let's take the tone for a ride here and see what we can do with that. Gets a little ugly up on top, but the frequencies it's raising are actually, they're not the ice pick frequencies you would normally be scared of on a Stratocaster. I'm gonna go down to the neck with this tone control up, play around a little bit here. Pretty cool. Check out the uh, forward position on here. I'm gonna crank that drive and tone a little bit more. Okay, very, very nice. It's performing like you would expect a Tube Scream or clone to. If you haven't noticed yet, this little switch here, plus and minus on here, this is something to pay attention to. In the down position, it uses what is called symmetrical clipping, where the two diodes on here are of equal value, so the top of your waveform, the bottom of your waveform, are being clipped in exactly the same manner. It's a way to give a smoother type of distortion, which in general, you know, really is nice with Stratocasters. I think that's why it became so associated with that heavy blue Strat sound. But asymmetrical clipping, where you have diodes of different values affecting the top of the waveform and the bottom of the waveform. Listen, I'm gonna flip this switch up. We're gonna to go to asymmetrical clipping. I'm gonna turn the drive down a little bit because you'll, you'll be able to notice this at even lower levels here. So check this out. <laughs> And now with it in symmetrical clipping. Noticing any difference? Back to asymmetrical. Now, you're probably saying, well, yeah, it's louder. I can tell it's louder. Now, check this out. how much dynamic range is lost in the symmetrical clipping when I go to asymmetrical. You get that dynamic range back. You still have the compression that you're looking for that kind of gives you that sustain and that nice uh, feel when you're playing, but the dynamics are still there. Uh, Th 
this. I'm going to crank up the drive a little bit more here. Take the tone back a little bit. Okay, this little switch here, big difference. Josh, way to go with this. Uh, JHS can do some very innovative things to take what would be just a typical clone of a famous pedal and give it something that not only boosts the value, but really enhances <laughs> what this pedal can do. Uh, again, for people who are in love with the Tomb Screamer sounds, with the symmetrical clipping, you've got the type of compression and warmth and tightening of the low end that you expect. <laughs> This to me is a much more natural and fun to play with type of sound. It still has the tube screamer character. You're still getting the mid bump, the low range tightening, uh, but adding the asymmetrical clipping in here is just another world. <laughs> Two overdrives in one, basically. A very playable, usable Tube Screamer clone, but with that asymmetrical clipping switch up, this is a big plus. It's just launched today. We have them here at More Guitars, and if you've got any questions about this pedal or any of our guitars, amps, basses, anything musical, give the guys a call here or go to our website, moreguitars.com, moreguitars.com, and chat with us. <laughs> <laughs>